on Sunday, June 9, 2013, I lost my mother, Millie, to a rare cancer called leiomyosarcoma, which she had battled for over a decade. The typical lifespan for someone who's diagnosed with that is about two to five years, so she surpassed that by many years. She put up a good fight, and we're all very proud of her for what she has done. I know she's stayed around for us, for her family, and we're so appreciative of that. Never thought that I being six years older and my brother seven years older, that Millie would go first, but she went with joy and people that loved her and surrounded her and uh, remember all the good times and all the fun we had uh, together, be it at my house in New Jersey or up in Connecticut. It was uh, a lot of sweet memories and we soon won't forget and hopefully this recording will be uh, used in the future so that people will realize what we were, when we were, and how we treated each other. One of her requests before she passed away was for her cremated remains to be memorialized into a reef ball. And this reef ball would then be submerged into the ocean to help preserve and protect the ocean's ecosystem. And I thought, wow, this is just such a beautiful way to continue her legacy. So here we are in Miami, and we uh, already have done her casting, and her cremated remains were mixed in with cement. And we mixed everything together, all of the children and I, and my husband. And then we poured the mixture into a reef ball. And then the cement set. And we wrote messages with her seashells that she had collected from all of her trips around the world. And we put our handprints into the cement as well. And special trinkets. My daughter Farah put a pink thread that my mom had always used to sew her blanket. We put that in, as well as some starfish and some other neat little trinkets. It was all very touching. And again, it was a beautiful way for her to continue on her legacy. I just, I just miss you, Mom. And I will make you proud in the way I raise my children. I will make you proud. When I am a wife, don't have to mark. And I can't thank you enough for everything that you have given me. And your kindness and your dedication and your compassion. 
I will never forget them. Ever. I will never forget you. And I will make sure that your grandchildren are completely aware of the kind of person that you were. And I will show them the kind of person you were by living my life the way you lived your life. I love you and I miss you. I just want to say that uh, I love you and we're going to miss you, but we're going to let your, your legacy is going to live on through your grandchildren. Your legacy is going to live on through your grandchildren. There's going to be days when we think that we can't get through and we're going to get the strength to get through those days. Through Soleil, Hudson, Bell and Farah, they're going to give us the strength. Lisa and I thank you for everything that you've done for us and we love you and we'll see you soon. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones and I will try to fix you To let it go But if you never try You'll never know Just watch your Fix 